And now, for the fast-paced academic challenge where knowledge is power, it's time for Thai Q. Here is your host, Mike Hartzog. Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Hi Q. We've got a good one for you today. It's a rematch of our championship game from a couple of years ago. Our returning champions this year down the bottom row from Beaver Creek against our newcomers from Bell Fountain, the Chiefs, but neither of these teams are newcomers when it comes to high Q. They matched up two years ago in the championship game, and Bell Fountain won that game in the finals. Two players on one from each team are back from that game. Martha and Steve both played a couple of years ago. Best of luck to everybody. Our game is very simple. It's four rounds of competition. First round, we ask 10-point toss-up questions, buzz in, give the correct answer, get the points. Incorrectly answer the question, the other team can give the correct answer and steal those points away. So teams, if you're ready, here we go. Here's your first toss-up question in the opening round. After years of decline, the Tonopah and Goldfield strikes reestablished a stable mining industry. Uh, Steve from Beaver Creek. Nevada. In Nevada, that's correct for 10 points. When he first landed in Australia in 1770, Captain James Cook found so many kinds of strange plants on the shores of this bay. Steve from Beaver Creek. Botany Bay. He named it Botany Bay. That's correct. You start at any point on a circle and use the length of, a ra of the radius as the distance separating the ends of your protractor. You mark successive points on the circumference and connect the points with straight lines. What plane fig you have you figure have you produced? Uh, Ian, uh, Beaver Creek. Hexagon. You've created a hexagon. That's correct for 10 points. Here's a bonus question. Check out your monitors here in the studio. In early October, the U.S. Embassy in Damascus was the target of protests by demonstrators upset about the death of Palestinians. In what country is Damascus? Steve from Beaver Creek. Syria. Syria is correct for 10 points and 10 bonus points. What kind of muscle tissue is composed of a great number of muscle fibers, each of which extends the entire length of the muscle? Uh, Steve from Beaver Creek. Smooth? No, that's incorrect. Beaver Creek Air. Bell Fountain, a chance to steal. Martha. Rough. Uh, no, the word we were looking for is striated. That's what we were looking for. Here's another 10-point toss-up. What was a group of merchant ships traveling under the protection of warships during the Second World War? Steve from Beaver Creek. A uh, convoy. It's called a convoy. That's correct for 10 points. A climber atop Mount, er Mount Erebus could look over uh, Steve from Beaver Creek. It's on the border between Turkey and Syria. That's not correct. Let me finish the question for Bell Fountain. A climber atop Mount Erebus could look out over which sea? Is it the Red Sea, the Ross Sea, the Coral Sea, or the Sea of Japan? Rob from Bell Fountain. The Red? No, the Ross Sea. What is another name for a stringed instrument called a bull fiddle? Uh, Steve from Beaver Creek. Mandolin? No, that's incorrect. Bell Fountain, the chance to steal. Martha? A cello? No, it's called a double bass is the, is the name. Express as a binary numeral the minimum age required by the Constitution for a person to serve as U.S. President. Rob from Bell Fountain. 35. No, the binary numeral we wanted it expressed as. Um, Beaver Creek, a chance to steal. The binary numeral is 100011. And 35 was correct, but we wanted the binary numeral. Is inheritance and variation in living things explained by ecology, genetics, morphology? Marcos from Bell Fountain. Genetics. Genetics is correct for 10 points. Members of the clergy of what religion may have the titles Sheik, Mullah, uh, Steve from uh, Beaver Creek? Islam. Islam is correct. A huge plaza called Tiananmen Square, Steve from Beaver Creek. Beijing, China. He's in Beijing, China. That's correct. X times Y equals 40, and X is doubled. Then what happens to Y? Uh, Becky from Beaver Creek. Y is half. Y is half. That's correct. Following the discovery of the Hudson River by Henry Hudson, the Dutch East India Company established two permanent settlements along its banks. One was New Amsterdam. Name the other one. That was Fort Orange, or also known as Albany. 
Traditionally, on the closing night of a play, all of the people involved in the play assemble for an evening of frivolity. Steve from Beaver Creek. Curtain call? No, that's incorrect. Let me finish the question from Bell Fountain. They assemble for an evening of frivolity and conversation in a get-together called what? Martha. A cast party? A cast party is correct for 10 points. On a compass, what is the abbreviation for the direction that is exactly opposite of east-northeast? Rob from Bell Fountain. West-southwest. West-southwest is correct. In what type of electrical circuit can the resistance be calculated as the sum of the individual resistances of its elements? Uh, Ravi from Beaver Creek. Parallel circuit? No, that's incorrect. Uh, Bell Fountain, a chance to steal. That's a series circuit. What can be said about two lines if a pair of corresponding angles are equal or a pair of alternate interior angles? Mm. Uh, 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 talk, Mike. Becky from Beaver Creek. They're parallel. They're parallel. She understood it, although I didn't. A township equals a square parcel of land. How many miles on a side? Martha from Bell Fountain. 16. No, that's incorrect. Chance to steal Beaver Creek. Steve. Six. Six is correct. And that's the end of our first round between Beaver Creek and Bell Fountain. As we go to the scoreboard, take a look at it. Our returning champs lead 110 to 30. We're back to meet our two teams right after this. One round down, three to play today in our game between our returning champs from Beaver Creek and the Bell Fountain Chiefs. And on the scoreboard right now, Beaver Creek leads at 110 to 30 after one round. Before we get into bonus questions, let's take a minute or so to meet our two teams. Starting out on the top row with Bell Fountain. Rob, lead us off. <laughs> I'm Rob Storm, and I'm a senior. Hi, my name is Martha Miller, and I'm a senior. My name is Marco Stolzfus, and I'm a junior. I'm Alan Frazier, I'm a senior. And down on the bottom row from Beaver Creek, Ian, start things. My name's Ian Maddox, I'm a senior. Hi, my name's Steve Fiore, and I'm a senior. Hi, my name's Ravi Shakar, and I'm a senior. I'm Becky Johnson, and I'm a senior. Okay, bonus time. In bonus, we ask 10-point toss-up questions. You get the question correct. You get then up to three more questions for as much as 30 additional bonus points. The so teams, if you're ready, here we go. Here's your first toss-up in the bonus round. A period of decline in a national economy for at least three consecutive quarters. Rob from Bell Fountain. A recession. A recession, that is correct. And bonus questions for the Chiefs only. Do you know your music? For five points, Bell Fountain, what is the opening song in the musical The Sound of Music? The Hills Are Alive. Rob. The Hills Are Alive. No, The Sound of Music is what the song is titled. Mm -hmm. Another 10-point toss-up question. An earthquake of magnitude 7 generates how many times more vertical ground movement than a magnitude 5 quake? Uh, Becky from Beaver Creek. 100 times? 100 times more, that's correct. And bonus questions coming for Beaver Creek. More questions from the field of music, Beaver Creek, for five points. Name the metal two-pronged device which produces a sound with a definite pitch. Tuning fork. Tuning fork. For ten points, what one-syllable term refers to a graphic sign directing a performer to produce a tone of a certain pitch or dura and duration? A note. A note. And for 15 points, the act of performing music without previous preparation is described by what five-syllable term? Improvisation. Improvisation is correct. Nice job. Three out of three. Here's another 10-point toss-up. As what part of speech is the word but used in this example? There were but eight people in the entire world who received eyebrow transplants this year. Martha from Bell Fountain. An adjective? No, that's incorrect. Beaver Creek chance to steal. It's used as an adverb. Which did not occur in 1994? The marriage of Michael Jackson, passage of Clinton's health bill, or a professional baseball player's strike? Rob from Bell Fountain. Baseball strike? No, that's incorrect. Beaver Creek chance to steal Steve. Um, passage of Clinton's health care bill. That's correct. And bonus questions for Beaver Creek. Here are some bonus questions referring to Asia. For five points, Beaver Creek, name the city in which it was reported that 123 out of 146 British prisoners had suffocated in a tiny prison cell in 1756. Calcutta? Calcutta is correct. For ten points, communist planes roared across the 38th parallel on the Asian Peninsula in a sneak attack that occurred on June 25th in what year? 1950. 1950. And for 15 points, a llama is a monk of what religion? 
Buddhism. That's correct. Nice job. Three out of three there. Another 10-point toss-up. Multiply P to the fifth power by P to the eighth power. Becky from Beaver Creek. P to the 13th power. P to the 13th power. That's correct. And bonus questions for the beavers again. How's your knowledge of U.S. geography? For five points, Beaver Creek, what state forms the southern border of Kentucky? Tennessee. Correct. For ten points, what state forms the northeast border of Wisconsin? Wisconsin. Northeast. That would be Michigan. That's correct. And for 15 points, what state is at the northeast corner of Utah? Northeast. Uh, Wyoming. Wyoming is correct. Okay, another 10-point toss-up question. The property that a borrower is obligated to surrender when a loan is defaulted. Steve from Beaver Creek. Collateral. Collateral is correct. Bonus questions once again for the Beavers. Your bonus questions this time all relate to human health. For five points, Beaver Creek, in the absence of what vitamin do bones become soft and teeth decay? C. D. Ooh. Another 10-point toss-up. All of these are variety of uh, a variety of what instrument? Schmidt, Gregorian, Keplerian, Newtonian, and Galilean. Steve from Beaver Creek. A telescope? Those are telescopes. That's correct. And bonus questions once again from Beaver Creek. The 1950s were a long time ago, but you'll need to know a little bit about these for these bonus questions. For five points, Beaver Creek in 1958, this American vice president was nearly killed by a mob in Caracas, Venezuela. Richard Nixon. Correct. For 10 points, President Eisenhower sent federal troops to enforce desegregation in this city. Little Rock, Arkansas. Correct. And for 15 points, he led the Montgomery bus boycott, boycott in 1955. Martin Luther King, Jr. That's correct. Now another 10-point toss-up. What U.S. state has the greatest abundance of bristlecone pines? Steve from Beaver Creek. California. That's correct. Bonus questions for the Beavers again. We'll go way back to the 20s, the 1920s for these bonus questions. For five points, Beaver Creek. In 1927, Al Jolson starred in the first talkie movie. What was it? The Jazz Singer. Correct. For 10 points in 1924, Congress approved bonuses for veterans of this war. World War I. And for 15 points in 1928, the movie Steamboat Willie introduced this character. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is correct. Here's another 10-point toss-up. If flawed data is put into a computer, flawed data will be produced by the computer. What is the four-letter, uh, Ian from Beaver Creek? Oh, shoot, WYSIWYG, but it's not correct. Uh, okay, let me finish the question. What is the, what is the four-letter acronym describing this situation, Bell Fountain? known as GIGO, garbage in, garbage out. That's the end of the bonus round. Let's go to the scoreboard and see where we are. Beaver Creek's built a big lead, 320 to 40. We're only halfway through, though. Rapid fire is next, so don't go away. Welcome back, everybody. Our returning champions from Beaver Creek have bowled it out to a big lead early today over Bell Fountain, 320 to 40. We're only halfway through, though. It's rapid fire time on Q. In rapid fire, each team gets one minute to answer as many 10-point questions as they can answer. Any questions they pass on or incorrectly answer, the other team can give the correct answer and steal those points away. Bell Fountain, you're trailing right now. You'll have first choice of categories. Will it be Doe, E-Check, or J? J, please. J it is. Okay, listen closely. Beaver Creek, you'll have a chance to steal. For 10 points each, identify these people and things that all begin with the letter J. You have one minute, so here we go. This is a name used in legal proceedings to designate an unidentified person. John Doe. This calendar was replaced by the Gregorian calendar. Pass. He's the lead singer of the Rolling Stones. Mick Jagger. This actor plays Pacey on Dawson's Creek. Pass. A person who is skilled in the law, for example, a lawyer or a judge. A jurist. This first, the first name of a former NFL quarterback, Montana. Um, Joe. Joe. Correct. It was a movie about dinosaurs running amok Jurassic in a park. theme park. He's the anchor of News Center 7 at noon. Pass. The fifth planet from the sun. Jupiter. The first name of President Kennedy's wife. Jacqueline. A Mexican revolutionary statesman and president of Mexico in the 1800s. Pass. It's the month that precedes February. January. The last name of a Confederate general nicknamed Stonewall. Jackson. Jackson. A black flag bearing the white skull and bones of a pirate ship. Jolly Roger. Correct. He's up. 14 questions. One, two, three, four that you didn't get a Beaver Creek a chance to steal. 
This calendar was replaced by the Gregorian calendar. The Julian calendar. The Julian calendar. This actor plays Pacey on Dawson's Creek. We're going to go with James Vanderbeek. Joshua Jackson is, what it is who he is. Oh. He's the anchor of News Center 7 at noon. Uh, Ken Jefferson. Also the former host of High Q. That's correct. And Sorry, a Mexican catch. revolutionary statesman and president of Mexico in the 1800s. Oh, oh, oh. Um. <laughs> It was Benito Juarez. Okay, your turn to play Beaver Creek. Two categories left. Eat, check, or dough. What's it going to be? We'll go with dough. Dough it is. Dough may be Homer Simpson, Simpson's favorite saying, but we're talking about dough, cold, hard cash. I'll give you the name of a country. You give me the basic unit of Whoa. currency. For example, the basic unit of currency in the United States is the dollar, of course. Okay. And I want to point out that some answers may be used more than once. So here we go. Sweden. Uh, Krohn. No, that's incorrect. Mexico. Peso. Correct. Italy. Lira. C Canada. Dollar. Venezuela. Oh, uh, um, pass. United Kingdom. Pound. Tan Tanzania. Pound. No. Saudi Arabia. Real. Correct. Philippines. Peso. The Netherlands. Uh, Gilder. France. Franc. Israel. Shekel. No. Jamaica. Dollar. Iceland. Ooh, pass. Uh, Egypt. Pound. Correct. Nice job. One, two, three, four, five that you didn't get. Chance to steal Bell Fountain. Sweden. The euro? No, you said krona. Krona. Krona was the answer. Venezuela. The dollar. No, the bolivar. Tanzania. Dollar. They use the shilling. Uh, Israel. Uses a pound and Iceland. <laughs> Iceland also uses the Krona. So there we have our rapid fire round today. Let's go to the scoreboard before we go to the final exam. 440 to 140. Bell Fountain has some catching up to do. We'll see if they can right after this. Welcome back, everybody. It's time for the final exam today between our returning champions from Beaver Creek and the Bell Fountain Chiefs. Right now, the Beavers lead the Chiefs 440 to 140. The only difference in the final exam, every question now worth 20 points instead of 10. So, teams, if you're ready, here we go. Here's your first toss-up question in the final round. Cabo San Lucas is situated at the southern tip of what peninsula? Steve from Beaver Creek. Baja. The Baja Peninsula is correct. When sea level rises with respect to the land, river valleys that lead to the oceans are flooded, and the high ridges flanking the valley become headlands. What is the name for the resulting water-filled river valleys? Uh, Ravi from Beaver Creek. Fjords? No, that's incorrect. Bell Fountain, a chance to steal. Those are known as bays. What class of arthropods has these characteristics? Body divided into two regions, simple eyes, no antennae, and four pairs of legs. Steve from Beaver Creek. Arachnida. Arachnids is correct. Here's a bonus question. Check your monitors out here in the studio. He began his term of office on January 1st, 1997. He's a native of Ghana and went to college. Steve from Beaver Creek. Kofi Annan, he's Secretary General of the United Nations. That is correct for 20 points and 10 bonus points. What two-word phrase is used by physicians to refer to a patient's respiration, pulse rate, blood pressure, and body temperature? Uh, Steve from Beaver Creek. Vital signs. Those are the vital signs. That's correct. In practically every one of his movies, Alfred Hitchcock would make a brief incidental appearance as a background character. What is any such brief appearance, uh, Becky from Beaver Creek? A walk on? No, that's incorrect. Let me finish the question for Bell Fountain. What is any such brief appearance by a famous actor in a dramatic presentation call? Rob? A cameo? Cameo is correct for 20 points. In a 45, 45, 90 degree right, right triangle, the sides opposite the 45 degree angles are Rob from Bell Fountain. Equal? They're equal, that's correct. What is the maximum number of obtuse angles in any given triangle? Steve from Beaver Creek. One. One is correct. The Liberty Bell was first hung in 1753 in the newly finished Pennsylvania State House. What did that building later become known as? Steve from Beaver Creek. Independence Hall. That's correct. In the book 1984, what awaited Winston Smith in room 101? Rob from Bell Fountain. Big Brother. 
No, that's incorrect. Give a great chance to steal Ian. Reprogramming. Rats awaited him in room 101. Consider the Canadian provinces that border the United States west of the Great Lakes. Which would be last on an alphabetical list? Rob from Bell Fountain. Vancouver. No, that's incorrect. Uh, Steve from Beaver Creek. Um, Yukon. Saskatchewan, the provinces along the, the west side. Colors and flavors are categories of what subatomic particles? Uh, Ravi, Beaver Creek. Quarks. Quarks is correct. What term that literally means all lands refers to the single land mass? Ian from Beaver Creek. Patagonia. No, that's incorrect. Let uh, me finish the question for Bell Fountain. What term that literally means all lands refers to the single land mass that geologists now believe existed on Earth some 200 million years ago prior to breaking up into continents? Pangaea. Pangaea is correct. Express the number 4600 using scientific notation. Steve from Beaver Creek. 4.6 times 10 to the third power. That's correct. You guys must have been studying that recently. Everybody was pushing buttons. Who, according to Norse mythology, was the ruler of Asgard? Steve from Beaver Creek. Odin. Odin is correct. List any two of the four objective third-person singular pronouns. Any two of the four. Him, her, it, and one. A hematologist is best qualified, Steve from Beaver Creek. Blood. That's not what we were looking for. Bell found, let me finish the question. A hematologist is best qualified to deal with which disease? Anemia, rubella, leprosy, or encephalitis? Uh, Martha? Anemia. Anemia is correct. What is the two-word name for the type of enterprise that these groups are involved in? The Japanese Yakuza, the Chinese Triads, the, Medi the, the Medellin Cartel, and the Sicilian Mafia. Steve from Beaver Creek. Organized crime. It's organized crime, that's correct. If you're standing at the confluence of the Mississippi and Ohio rivers, what state... Uh, Steve from Beaver Creek. Illinois. No, that's incorrect. Let me finish the question for Bell Fountain. What state is directly to the east? Uh, Adam Bell Fountain. Kentucky. Kentucky is correct. What major winds govern the climate of India? Marcos from Bell Fountain. The monsoon winds. Monsoon winds is correct. What building was described in a short story by Edgar Allan Poe as an old decaying mansion? Uh, Marcos from Bell Fountain. The House of Usher. The House of Usher is correct. What is the three-syllable term for that which is formed when the top section of a volcanic cone collapses into the hollow area? Steve from Beaver Creek. Caldera. Caldera is correct. What American poet immortalized both a village blacksmith and a Boston... Uh, Steve from Beaver Creek. Longfellow. That's correct, a Boston silversmith. What is the title of the person elected to preside over the Senate... Uh, Rob from Bell Fountain. Senate pro tempore. Yes, yeah, the president pro tem. That's, that will give you 20 points. By what other name do we know the constellation called the Northern Cross? Steve from Beaver Creek. Cygnus. Cygnus is correct. Which 18th century explorer successfully navigated through the Northwest Passage? None of them. What is the three-syllable term for a medical prediction as to the probable course and outcome of a disorder? Marcos Bell Fountain. Diagnosis? No, that's not what we're looking for, and that's the game because the buzzer sounded, so you can't steal that one away. We're at the end of our game today between Bell Fountain and Beaver Creek. We'll be back to check out the final score right after this. It was a rematch of our championship game from a couple of years ago today. Two years ago, Bell Fountain won. Today, Beaver Creek makes it two in a row as they score the highest number of points this season, 710 to 300. Beaver Creek now a two-time winner. They'll be back to try and make it three in a row and try to retire as they take on the Urbana Hill Climbers next week. Bell Fountain, thank you very much for joining us. And Best of luck to you all in the future. Beaver Creek will see you back next week, and we hope to see you back next week as well for another round of High Q Beaver Creek and Urbana next week. We'll see you then.